So here we have the Fiat 500 1.2 lounge on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a three door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car you'll see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space given the size of the car along with that 50-50 split folding rear seat. Okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside but now that we've done a full circle of the car you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. The seats are as good as new as you can see. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay so now they're inside the car we're going to start with the dials. The white outside ring is the speedometer. Then we have the rev counter and in the middle we have the trip computer which includes the total miles on this car of 12,686. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the right and left hand side we have stereo controls. We then have the ability to mute the stereo and then there's phone control so we can answer and end phone calls and we have voice activation for your phone as well. So if you would hit that button and ask it to dial someone in your contacts list, you can do that uh, without having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is, of course, once you paired up the phone, and that is done on the touch screen over in the center just here. Uh, so you've got a few option buttons down the bottom, uh, but the, the majority of the screen uh, then becomes touch screen, as you can see at the moment. So when it comes to radio, first of all, you'll see this car's got DAB digital radio. It also has AM and FM available just there, so you can pick whichever one you want. If you want to listen to your own music, at the moment nothing is connected, but there are a few ways of doing it. So there's an auxiliary and USB input, so you can connect devices uh, via either of those. And once you've paired your phone, you'll be able to stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio, uh, as well as obviously making and receiving phone calls. Uh, if I hit the phone button, that is where you pair your phone. Just hit yes and follow the instructions on screen from there. If you connect up a smartphone, uh, smartphone sorry, via the, via the USB uh, cable that it comes with, you can get certain uh, Fiat friendly apps on your phone that will then be displayed up on the screen here, which is a really ex uh, excellent extra feature. Working our way down from that, we have the city button. So that makes the power steering lighter for parking. Your hazard warning lights and front and rear fog lights. We then have the air conditioning. So your temperature is adjustable with this dial. Fan speed just here. Whether the air is coming in from outside or being recirculated inside the car, and then where within the car you'd like the air to be distributed. Once you're happy with all of those settings, push this button in and you'll see that light come on, that turns the air conditioning on or back off again. Uh, and underneath that we then have a heated rear screen and stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that system off should you wish to. Front and rear electric windows and then the five speed manual gearbox. And at the bottom here, we have a 12 volt charging socket and the auxiliary and USB inputs that I mentioned previously. The last thing I mentioned is the glass roof. So it's not a sunroof for such, as in it doesn't open to let in air, but it will let in an, a lot of extra light when you open that sun blind. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.